you ever find your students don't really make use of the carefully crafted feedback you're providing them? Do you find they sometimes have a quick look at the grade and then move on, and they're not really using the comments you're giving them? This is a problem of a lack of student feedback literacy, and a challenge that as teachers we sometimes don't do enough to develop this student feedback literacy. In a recent co-authored article in Assessment and Evaluation in Higher Education, uh, David Bowd and myself, we've defined student feedback literacy as the understandings, capacities, and dispositions to make sense of feedback comments and use them for enhancement purposes. The idea of students using the feedback is a critical one because unless students make use of the comments, they are very limited in their value or impact. So in the paper, we talk about four key components of student feedback literacy. Appreciating feedback, making judgments, managing affect, and taking action. And I'll say a little bit about each one of them in turn. Firstly, appreciating feedback. Students need to see the value of feedback as an important tool for ongoing improvement. Secondly, students need to make judgments about the academic work of themselves and their peers. Thirdly, managing affect. Students need to see critical feedback not as a threat to their self-esteem, but as a, a tool or a possibility for ongoing improvement. And fourthly, these three components converge on action. Students need to make use of feedback comments for the purpose of improving their own work or enhancing their learning strategies. So that's what feedback literacy is and why it's important. How can teachers in higher education uh, design curriculum and assessment in ways which will promote the development of student feedback literacy? In the paper, we talk about two uh, key strategies which are common learning activities, peer feedback, and the analysis of exemplars. Peer feedback, if implemented well, enables students to compose and receive uh, feedback. It enables them to calibrate their own judgments against those of others, and it helps them to judge their own work in progress during its production. The other activity of the analysis of exemplars or samples of student work is a tool to, to which students can try to understand better the nature of quality, to understand how quality work is developed and what it looks like, and through understanding better the nature of quality, they are better able to make their own judgments and to engage with feedback comments. So basically that's um, the, the overview of the paper. Um, it's come out recently, open access in assessment and evaluation in higher education, Carlos and Bao, 2018. Because it's an open access article, you can uh, download it from the, um, from the page that you will see in front of you. Thank you very much.